um, today I'll show you how to make uh, dough for puri. So, puri ke liye ham aata gundenge. Uske liye maine ye aata liya hai. Uh, wheat flour humne liya hai. And I have added um, one and half tablespoon of cooking oil. Any cooking oil you can use. If you want, you can use pure ghee as well, desi ghee. But I've taken oil and uh, I've added just a uh, you know this quantity of dough um, um this quantity of uh, wheat flour i've added half a tablespoon of um, salt and then ajwain seeds which i have just sprinkled over it now what we'll do is i'll add um, water to it slowly and then i'll start uh, making a dough of it so puri ke liye we have to make a tight dough not a loose one it should be tight one so and now here we go we'll start doing this salt ajwain and oil is already in there so we'll start mixing it nicely first we'll mix the oil um, or I add ajwain to my um, puri dough always because it's, it gives you nice taste and it's good for digestion also so if you don't want to add ajwain to it don't add it not a compulsion but if you add it you will definitely taste the difference so try once and you will know now the oil and salt and ajwain everything is mixed properly so we'll add water to it little bit water we'll make a hole and then we'll add little bit water we'll add slowly slowly we'll add the water and make we'll make a dough so here we go get everything in the water mix it you can see you can it you can feel it's making the uh, flour is getting together and it's getting into a you can make it a ball kind of so we'll we this will need more water we'll add more water to it and make a dose slowly slowly so i'll show you how to how to do this so this water is observed and we'll another more water to it and we'll make a nice dough of it okay as you can see it's still hard not too much water in it but we have managed to make a dough of it all the flour is into a dough now and just only with one hand i've not used my another hand so here is it. Everything is one big dough now. But we have to make it nice and soft. So what we'll do is we'll add little more water. Just little more water. Yeah. And we'll mix it. And I can't do it with one hand because I'm holding camera with another one. So I'll just show you quickly how to do it. Look. Spread it nicely evenly yeah and then you have to keep doing this until you get a nice soft dough we don't want any cracks all these cracks looking uh, in these so we'll make it nice like punching it make it nice dough so I've shown you this now what I'll do is I'll keep doing it for next two to three minutes until it becomes nice dough without any cracks and not adding too much water. We want hard dough for the puris, not very soft, not very hard, just a medium. It is look so just a little bit more um, water and it will become nice dough for puris. Yeah, and more punches also. So now here my. Uh, puri dough is ready look not very soft can you see I'm poking the finger it's not going straight deep in so it's not very soft and same time it's not very hard you can still press it so this is the amount of uh, proper softness we want in the dough so here a puri dough is ready and we'll start rolling out the puris and start deep frying them which I'll show you right now Okay, now I've rolled um, small balls out of the dough and 
we're gonna roll them into a puri. So this you can make take little little piece of dough and uh, just roll it out on your palms with both your hands. Just on your palm you can roll on, uh, with both your hands and then you can make a small dough like this. And now um, our oil is on other hand I'll, uh, on the side I put oil which is ready I think. So we'll start rolling out. If the oil should be nice and hot because um, when you put the puree in straight away puri should uh, should not go and settle down on the bottom of the uh, karai. It should come up and you should be able to turn it uh, you know keep turning it to get it nice and fluffy. So and you also need a little oil in separate little bowl uh, because what we do is we will spread the oil on this because these uh, doughs are dry not very oily and we're not gonna use dry flour to roll them out so what we're gonna do is for the puris we will need little oil on here and then we'll put our puri ball on it little ball you press a little bit with make it round and then just little bit on its sides not too much and then we will start rolling it with our rolling pin which I um, can't show it to you these are the handles which we hold from both the sides and we roll it nice into puris you can see you you have to keep turning it around to give it a nice round shape so like this holding the pin uh, rolling pin from both the sides you have to make it nice round puris so i'll do it um, while switching off the camera <laughs> and show you the puri when it is cooking in the oil yeah here I've made three puris. I've rolled out three puris. Okay, never uh, roll your puri, dry puri, uh, dry puris because you know when you uh, first of all it will be difficult for you to um, roll out dry puris because uh, they'll get a cracks and when you put them in the oil to fry them, it will it will give you cracks definitely. So always apply a little bit of oil. Dip your finger in it. Apply the oil um, uh, on the uh, on this. Uh, ball both the sides and then roll it slowly slowly and then as soon as possible it's done just try to uh, deep fry them don't don't leave this puris um, outside for too long because then it will get dry and it will not uh, be proper it will not cook properly so and we want the puri to nice you know do we, when we put it in the oil it should come up um, uh, at that same time and should look nice and fluffy so nice fluffy and soft so this is ready now we will go to our oil and start cooking it so here we are um, oil is perfectly done what we'll do is we'll put one by one let's see this look yeah look. just a little bit just very little bit tap on it and then turn it around yeah, you see the color changing? That means the oil was perfect. See. As soon as you put the puri in the oil, it comes up and you can turn it around. Just a little bit, just a little slight tap. Not too hard. Don't be too hard on it. See, it's done. And we can take it out on a kitchen towel to get rid of that extra extra oil here we go look it comes up see nice turn it you can do two puris at the same time one is done put another one if you have a big karai to fry them you can do three at a time depends if you can manage what you can manage and if you can manage so here is it look nice and crispy the color is changing 
So here we go. Just try. Just don't. Just don't think that the it's uh, both the sides are nicely done. So just don't take it out. Let, let it cook a little bit, but not. Don't just burn it inside because it shouldn't be. You shouldn't get that raw taste, raw dough taste in your mouth. So make it nice and crispy, but don't let it burn. The color should be light brown, not dark brown or black. So here, our puris are ready to eat. Alright, thank you.